Ah, Sarah bought us alive this time. What nice gal. Now then, forgot to open this. Hey, hey everyone. Kabu here. Very, very late to uh, a stream that was not scheduled. <laughs> of course, I have nothing scheduled, but I'm very, very late. I wanted to start really, really early, like way, way earlier, uh, because today was a pretty much like a free day at work. And so I wanted to just like be done with it as soon as possible, come home, eat, and then start a stream and maybe do like a longish stream, like lower than uh, longer than two hours, which is like the usual time. But uh, mm, for that, I usually want to eat before I start the stream. And um, there was actually like no food at home, like prepared. And then I asked, like, hey, where's where food? I'm hungry. And then it's just like, oh, uh, it's going to be a, get brought over to the house later. And so I just had to wait. And the person that brought it over actually stayed at ha uh, the house. It's my mom's boyfriend. Uh, stayed at the house and for a little bit. And I usually don't really want to stream while people there's, well, there's people in the house, especially him, because he knows English. Like, if, if, if it's only, like, my mom that's, like, here, uh, her English she's not very proficient in English so she usually cannot understand what I'm saying and so I can pass it always just playing with friends and stuff like that but him he knows <laughs> he knows everything that I say he understands every single word and I want to be playing like I'm whispering the entire time kind of thing so I wanted to wait for him to actually leave and he left not too long ago uh to just pass it actually I was thinking of like oh I'm just gonna pass the time just do a quick leak ARAM and like immediately as soon as the game started I just heard the door open and close and it's just like brother what timing do you have to actually leave so I had to do a full ARAM game <laughs> before I could actually start stream because there's no way that I'm getting myself into like a Libra penalty or something of the sort on league I was saying it take some time to actually get rid of and uh apparently and I can't remember a long time ago, I used to get like a lot of like lever penalties because my internet was absolute garbo and uh, I like DC, uh, which was when I was trying to do like my big rank climb that I wasn't able to fully complete uh, because I only reached Diamond 2, I didn't get to Masters and I was trying to get to like Masters, I probably wouldn't have been able to uh, grind enough to get into Challenger, but it's whatever. Actually, I don't even remember what type of system they had back in the day i can't remember if they had grandmasters or if they had just like masters and challenger uh but yeah it was a very very long time ago it was back when i started my uni so yeah uh luckily i did win the game and um we did pretty well uh, me and my teammates it wasn't like toxic or anything of the sort it was just like a, a kind of annoying game because they had like some hyper care oh, just talking about leaks oh, whatever uh because they had like some hyper carries together with like a brom to like protect them a nami to heal them and give them some peel and then like a cilian to revive them so it was a very very annoying game that uh if it wasn't for the, that combination of champions that they had it would have like ended really really fast because my team was actually pretty good at the game uh so yeah right now i'm trying to actually finish oh i press the walk button no i actually want to finish uh chapter four because uh i think it was yesterday or today in the morning they tweeted out about the uh the next update program or like the update program that's going to be happening soon i can't remember it's, it has to be next week because they do it on thursdays right so Back when the, uh, this update was going to come out, I couldn't do anything because I was still like busy and doing a lot of stuff and I couldn't just like stream at all. Uh, I still cannot do it live. I still cannot watch the update program live, but I am hoping that at the very least this time on on the day after um, the update stream or just like, or the same day, actually, I can actually do it the same day uh, later on when I'm off work to actually just watch it and then maybe just play some other video games right after. Uh, because like I said, there's like a lot of games that I have like on my list and that I haven't been able to actually play or do anything at all. And it's kind of sad because I remember my uh, good old days when I was able to just like rush everything in the first week. Uh, <laughs> because I had a lot of free time and now that I'm working, I don't really have that much free time. But now that there's like more helpers at work, like there's like more employees that are helping me do stuff uh, instead of just everything getting thrown 
on to me um i'm just like coming back home well rested well not well rested because i still sleep like absolute garbage not because i have bad sleep but because i sleep really really late and i wake up really really early uh but yeah i just I, now i have like the uh I have the means to have the power to be able to actually play some video games like complete well, finally complete black made wukong get back into wuwa and talking about getting back into wuwa uh if i was able to do this uh have like a long string today i was thinking of doing a bit of like wuwa just so i can unlock the dailies because i tried playing it i updated it yesterday night and i play a little bit of it and there's something i i can't remember if i was like quote unquote playing the game well um back when 1.0 came out but i started playing it and i felt really 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 comfortable with the controls and with the dodges and with everything that i was doing in game and i remember that there was like a thing that was happening where it's just like the uh, the long range characters couldn't actually parry the enemies but now they can so i'm gonna guess that that was a bug either that was a bug or uh they implemented that feature into the game to just like make every character equal and dot because it really was kind of crappy of uh, design choice to just like make uh, long range characters not being able to parry when parry is such an important mechanic and it happens really really fast so uh, you'd have to get some insane reactions or like be prepared for the parry in order to be able to swap to a melee character and then actually do it and then swap back onto your uh, long range DPS character and start doing like all the uh, mumbo jumbo big damage kind of things deal uh, but yeah I had fun playing a Wuwa I fought like some like elite enemies that were like level 45 and level there was one that was level 85 they were all like one shotting my characters if they actually landed ahead of me i beat both of them um it just took a couple of tries i think i died once to the 45 level 45 enemy and i died uh, two or three times on the level 85 enemy but it was fun I like, uh, I like challenges, so it felt really nice to do it and for them to actually be like completely overpowered even though I was like, you know, really early in the game. I, like, they allow me to challenge them and they're just like, although I don't know if they're actually full on level 85 because it seemed like their HP, even though they lasted for a bit, uh, they, it, they seemed not as tanky as you'd think of a level 85 enemy when you're playing with a level, what is it, 10, 20 uh, character? Oh, and right, since I've been playing like, uh, whatchamacallit, ZDZ, they have like the same sort of like uh, mechanics in terms of like leveling up your skill, leveling up your weapons. They're just like very similar because it's uh, it's apparently also very similar to uh, Genshin. And of course, these games are sort of like, just like taking the formula from the game that has been uh working really really well for them and they're just like recycling it the uh the like up character upgrades and stuff like that so i feel a little bit more comfortable playing wuwa now that i have like this information instead of feeling being like full-on blind of everything so yeah i, I really want to play wuwa i, I want to play more wuwa and uh i'm still like very very stuck at uh, like one story i like i think it's chapter three or chapter two uh and i need to finish that one in order to unlock the dailies and right now i don't have the dailies but apparently i when i was playing yesterday i unlocked the battle pass uh so yeah the battle pass was level locked and i managed to unlock it so at the very least i can do that although i don't think there's like enough time to do anything on the battle pass because i looked at the uh at the like whatchamacallit at the gacha screen like this screen but for wuwa i didn't even farm anything to be able to actually roll a single time on that one and i'm not i'm not gonna be using just fyi for anyone that's just gonna be like dude you have 1200 of this like whatever they're called monochromes i think they're called yeah monochromes uh you can just turn them into polychromes and you can roll and it's just like no i in case there's something later on that i'm um that is gonna be using this to like buy it i want to save it I think there's a couple of things in the store right now that you can actually oops uh what's the button for that can't remember that's not the right thing store i think there's a couple of things that i can buy with it oh sorry mm, don't mind this <laughs> uh <laughs> i'm probably gonna cut that out from <laughs> from the youtube vod 
But uh, yeah, there's a couple of things that you can use in order to buy those things. And of course, these are the things that you, you should be saving so you can buy one of these things. What is this, Ben? Okay. It's just a buying the character itself. But anyways, yeah, uh, I want to get back into Uwa. I want to finish ZTT. I want to do all the events that ZTT has because there's a bunch that I need to do and there's not much time left. This one's just like double events, so it's like not very important. Other than that, I don't think there's anything. Oh, there's this one. I need to do this one, roaming the ether. And I need to do the Overlord's Feast. I'm probably going to do both of these off uh, off stream. Because once again, I need to watch more call it. Um, I need to catch up on a lot more things so uh, on other games. So I, I don't want to use stream time to be doing the event. Uh, I can just talk about it later. Uh, but uh, once I catch up with like everything that I want to do, I'm, I'll probably start doing events on stream. That's at the very least my plan. Currently, so yeah, let's uh let's start the the story because I don't have much time to stream. I have like an hour and ten minutes, not an hour, and, yeah, an hour and ten minutes to finish this. And if I'm able to finish this and I can go into Woa and start doing the story there, then that'd be great. That actually would be great because this sounds like it's gonna be like the. Uh, one of the last couple of missions or that I'm very close to the end because we already found out about a bunch of like stuff and there's like a bunch of like uh, of things happening where it's just like oh yeah the Tour de Inferno is coming and it's very very close uh, we found out that Lucius is actually the one that is screwing over the Sons of Caledon the most or actually he's just doing everything in his power to try and screw the Sons of Caledon behind the boss's back the Overlord's back which is Pompeii and we saw on a little like comic, cu comic cutscene where it seems like Lucius uh, sort of like uh, spiked or did something to Pompey's drink. So something bad is about to happen to Pompey, probably. Lucius is probably going to be like really, really greedy and try to take control of the uh, the Overlord's position. Uh, but yeah, it, it was nice to at the very least know that Pompey and Lucius were not working to their, together to try to screw over the Sons of Caledon. So anyways, on to the mission at hand. Everything is set for the Tour de Inferno wise, and Caesar is looking sharp too. The competition is just around the corner, so if there's any last minute preparations needed, let's get it done ASAP. All set. Uh, yes. Alright, let's rest up for the Tour de Inferno. Finally, the day of the Tour de Inferno arrives. Caesar and the crew are already on the move for the kickoff wise. Let's link up with the HDD and get EOS started. The race from which a hero was born helped, helped the Sons of Caledon achieve victory in the race. What is this? Mini cargo truck? Oh, I think I had seen this before. I think I got this from like side quest. I didn't know they gave it to you on um, main story quest. Actually, I probably have some if I try to open my... not that. Um, there's a button to open up. That's not it. There's a button to open up like a, a, a menu. Or maybe I'm thinking of Wuwa. I swear there was a button to open up the menu. For the bag or for like the inventory. I guess I'm just thinking of Wuwa and it's not... And Wuwa doesn't even let you open the inventory. It's just like the gadget screen. So yeah, I'm probably thinking of that. Preserve relics is not this. Yeah, I don't have any. I had some at one point in time. And here's my backup battery charge because uh, I, I usually do my dailies at nighttime, but uh, because I'm like, it's the time that I use it on sleeping, and there's the time that I use when I'm at work. I usually go over the uh, the max, which is 240. So yeah, it happens, and I have a lot of like backup energy. And sometimes I do my dailies like really really early, and so they it, I start gaining battery the entire like uh, evening. And then nighttime, and then in the morning, and so I just end up with a lot of backup stuff. The race from which the hero was born. Recommended attributes, physical and fire. Well, would you look at that? My main team is physical and fire. And it doesn't matter, because I'm going to be using Trial Lucy and Trial Caesar. Let's go. Old oil field district toward the inferno starting point. Hey. <laughs> New character! Very, very 
what would you call this? Alternative? It's not goth, right? This is not a, a like goth outfit. It is very rock and roll kind of outfit. Like there's like the the chain. There's like the uh, the collar. There's like this little like I don't know if they're like piercings or anything or something of the sort. The black nails. The fingerless gloves. She looks good. And this game is really good at making some very pretty uh, NPCs. Like Coco, uh, the girl from like the uh, the boba tea place. She's damn pretty. Not gonna lie, I really like her design. Uh, forgot to actually read this. There we go. Jolly Jenny, or Jolly Johnny, according to Japanese uh, pronunciation, katakana. Yeah, baby. Just cute. <laughs> Sister, do you guys really not know like the story or like when this happened 30, 40 or even 50 years ago? Taking a drink? <laughs> no! You know that what would make me nervous? Being in this position on the motorcycle because I'm like it was just literally not grabbing from like anything. There's like not a safe spot here. It's just like very very scary. He can slip off from like the sides right here. See our size. <laughs> Probably cameras? Also, yeah, it's fair. I trust Caesar. Caesar seems like a very dependable girl. <laughs> Are you just listening to us? <laughs> hmm. It is camera drones. Alright, there's something about the outer ring where people love mid revs. Like, most of the, I think it's most of the characters have actual an actual like midriff. Hello, hi hi, hello. How you doing today? Welcome in. I saw your follow like uh, what was it like eleven hours ago? I think it said. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Arrow. Good to hear that. I'm glad that you're doing good. Yippee! Yay! <laughs> I still love how Pompey looks. He's he has like a, such a cool like design. I love this like uh, battle hardened old man kind of look where they just like have like their like white hairs or like gray hairs combined with their normal hair color. It's so good. And we know that Lucius and Morris are working together, so it seems like, if anything, they might betray Pompey here. We still don't know what they did to Lucius, not Lucius, what Lucius did to Pompey's drink. We know it's like, it was like spiked with something because it had like the bubble thingies. The thing that everybody warns you if you go to like a club is just like, do not drink anything that's like bubbling, uh -huh, because it's not safe. Uh, yeah, it would, his drink was like bubbly. All right, Era, thank you for the lurk. Have a nice time. Have a nice day. And not Piper. Oh, because Piper is the, uh, whatchamacallit, the truck driver. Is there anyone else that I'm missing? Bernie's. What does Bernie's even do? Bye bye, Arrow. Oh, you're playing a ranked match? Nice. Good luck. Oh, wait. What game? <laughs> I guess I should have asked that earlier. I wonder what game it is. It could be League, it could be even Deadlock. I heard that Deadlock now has ranked matches, so it could even be that. Overwatch, Call of Duty. Doesn't Call of Duty also have like a ranked game mode? I think so. Uh, 
give me a second. I'm gonna open my window. Because I don't know why, when I got home, I felt like kind of coldish and I was just like very happy because I could use like my warm pajama, pajamas. But now that I have them on and I'm sitting at my PC, I feel like very hot, very, very hot. Like my back is sweating so much. I hate it. There's nothing that I hate more than my back being sweaty when I'm playing like video games or sitting at any desk. There we go. And I guess it's also doesn't help that my kitty is currently like laying on my feet. Actually, my legs in general. So, come on, kitty. Mm -hmm. Give her some pats and scratches. So, yeah, and she's like a very, very fluffy kitty. So, whenever she gets close to you and she stays near you, it gets really, really hot. It gets really warm. I mean, it's gonna be really good whenever winter comes around, like the real winter over here but uh right now that it's actually hot outside that the temperature is actually high enough for it for me to not need any sort of like extra cover um any extra cold cold clothes or layers it's like yeah it's not very nice my feet get kind of like sweaty with her there <laughs> uh, Pompey, try to not die. Please. It'd be such a waste just if he actually dies with such a character design. I really like him. I mean, if he could become, like, playable, I'd say, heck yes. I'd love it. <laughs> the way that she speaks but yeah i'm pretty sure a lot of people are expecting a very epic showdown because it's the sons of character sons of caladon the people that are getting screwed over by uh by the vanquishers and of course the vanquishers so yeah Cinder Glow Lake reminds me of like a, a name of a Dark Souls area. Like it could be a Dark Souls area name, for all I know. I know there's a lake in Dark Souls One. Ah, here's the thing that I watched on the uh, on the patch on the version trailer kind of thing where there's like a game mode where you actually drive the motorcycle use a and d to move left and right hold the whatever button to consume fuel and accelerate while accelerated you can safely push through obstacles on the road okay press the dodge button to perform a dodge using dodge allows you to avoid obstacles on the road and safely push through obstacles on the road on the road oh god Hmm. It's also a little weird because there's a sort of like a obstacles. Uh, dodge. Can I use space now that I think about it? I cannot. I have to right click. What is that? Whoa. Oh, that was a dodge instead of like a accelerate. Oopsies. Oopsies. <laughs> Not the Caesar Lucy BM. Oh. And yeah, that's some, that's some sort of very, very crazy ether. Whoa! So some very crazy ether crystals. I actually don't have a health bar, so I'm kind of scared. How much health do I have? <laughs> That's what? Maybe I should be accelerating a little bit more. 
Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Too fast, too fast, too fast. There's something about this that feels a little bit weird. Whoa, fire. Ouch. Can I hold it for a very long time? No, I cannot. I need better timing. Oh, that was close. Nope, I was too late, I was too late. Ah! I have to do it earlier. Okay. All right, I'm kind of walking on now because I don't think I have much health. I've been getting hit by a lot of things. Bro, what's next? What's next? Some moments later. Did the entire cave collapse? Well, not the entire cave because we're inside it, but the, like a big chunk of the cave collapsed, and that's why there was like so much dust and rocks falling towards us. Mm. Maybe the cave collapsed or like the entrance collapsed and they were left outside and they had to go around. The ground gave way and collapsed. Mm. I wonder if this is something that Lucius did. It could just could be a coincidence, but it also seems like too much of a coincidence if you know what I mean. Like, I remember that there's like a game or a movie or something like that that says like the world is riddled with coincidences. So no, not everything has to be like uh, something that someone has done. Or is currently doing. So there's like a chance that there was just like a very, very bad coincidence that whenever we were, went into the cave, a boulder fell, hit the ground, created a massive hole, and we fell into this hole. But it also could have been that maybe Lucius prepared some explosives beforehand, placed them there, and when he knew that we were getting close to this area, blew it up, which then made the boulder fall, and then we ended up in the hole. Kind of like a, them trying to sabotage us because since the start of this like story, uh, this chapter, Lucius has been trying really damn hard to sabotage us. A significant release of energy. Explosions? Or something that happened with the ether? Maybe the concentration of ether was too high and created crystals on the side of the road, which then dropped the boulder onto us. It was an explosion. Kawaii, <laughs> Taskaro. Glittery dust. Ether? It has to be ether, right? Mm. Ether powder. A pure ether explosive. Does it have something to do with Perlman? Or sabotaged? Mm -hmm. 
Now here's the thing, because we're like the players and we have more infinite information than the characters in game, we know that it is in all the vanquishers. Pompey? So far, we know that Pompey is not trying to sabotage us. But we do know that uh, Lucius and Morse are definitely 100% trying to sabotage us for some reason. We just don't know currently why they hate the Sons of Caledon so damn much. So what are we going to do? It's not like we can call the uh, the people that are outside and tell them, hey, we were sabotaged. I mean, they might not even believe us. Oh. Hmm, but what if they took out the drone? Or maybe because we went into like a cave, that's why they planted the explosives here. The drone watched it from outside and didn't dare to go in, or maybe the drone got damaged by the explosion. Alright, will it work? It worked. Hmm? Hmm. They are trying really, really hard to do something to us. I don't know if they're trying to kill the Sons of Caledon, and it's like the, the objective that they're working towards, or if they're just working towards eliminate... No, yes. Yes. No. <laughs> I'm trying to just like cook up too much stuff, and I don't have enough information. I'll wait for a minute. <laughs> But what I'm thinking is that perhaps Lucius is trying to take over the Vanquishers and eliminate the Sons of Caledon, which are the second strongest uh, biker gang. And then from that, start taking over the other biker gangs and just become this like king of the Outer Ring. Because they wouldn't get exposed if we end up dying in here because the no information would get out. But I guess they do not know about this like connection that uh Wise has with Ills and then that we can communicate with Bell. But we still don't have like any proof to actually go over to like the uh to where the race is happening and just tell everyone that we must stop the race because something is wrong. <laughs> Hmm. I don't like the music though. It's like tense. But it's also like a little bit hypey. Or it's just like we must do something kind of thing. While still remaining tense. So some really good drums. Holy crap. <laughs> but if we try to get out, it'll be too late to do something and save or like stop whatever they're trying to do to the Cinder Lake. Mm. Fair. Oops. I thought she was done. Yeah, 
it's always nice that like your characters are like sort of like professional and they're not like asses like i mentioned this before but there's like a lot of like different types of like games uh where the main characters can be like different and there's games where you're just like literally the uh, the main character and sometimes there's just like they give you like options but you're still playing as someone else and this is like the case where we're playing as wise and bell or bell and our choices barely change the things that are happening in game because this is still their story this is not our story to tamper with kind of thing i don't know if i'm getting myself across but yeah There's no time to explain, and even if we try to explain it, we do not know what's going on, so we can't. <laughs> Thanks, Bell. A couple of minutes later, you and Caesar managed to return to the surface. Ah, and this is when we get to play as the characters. Ah, uh, we don't have Lucy anymore. Oh, Lucy! Holy Damagios! <laughs> That was pretty damn good. There should be three of those. Did I miss one here? Might as well check, you never know. Hitting over here. Nope. Hmm. I wanna see more of Lighter. I still really wanna see more of Lighter. I wanna see his well. We're gonna be able to see him on the uh, the next update program because they're gonna show off his gameplay. So I'm pretty excited about it. I want to know what he does. It does seem that he has something special on his arm because whenever he attacked, it was doing some really like it was doing like an uppercut. Hey yo. Alright, there we go. Mm. <laughs> well, that's pretty nice from them. I mean, Lucy and Lighter are pretty smart dudes, so it's no surprise that they actually connected the dots and were able to actually find out that the explosion happened because of ether explosives. <laughs> Hmm. Is it the Vanquisher's bikes? Alright, let's head over. Oh, I can't. Oh wait, no, I can't. There we go. Let's try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got the assault. I don't need to. Nice. I don't know, maybe playing Wuba also gave me a little bit of extra. Ah, the mess. 
Special feature in his treasure chest. I don't know, maybe? I can't tell if playing a little bit of Wuwa made me play this game a little bit faster because I felt really good while fighting these monsters, like these enemies, ethereals. Uh, or it could be that I'm able to do well in Wuwa because I've been playing ZZZ and ZZT has a very similar combat. Not Maybe not similar combat. Or maybe, yeah, similar. It's not the same, but it's similar. And that's why I could just like do it well, you know. You know, you know. Is that that's Morse? Uh, any treasure chests around here? Nope. Hey, Morse. Soon after, Caesar and the others quietly approached the figure. Hmm. Are they trying to stop us from getting to Cinder Lake, or are they trying to just like delay us as much as possible? Uh. Smart lighter. Smart. At this moment, Morse communicator sounds. Okay, are they trying to help us? Is Pompey trying to help us? Or is he actually in on it? Okay, okay, okay. He is trying to help us. The drink. Whatever that drink had is, ha is taking effect right now. Lucius. Mm. Lucius. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. You aren't fit to lead with that attitude. This is probably these words right here are probably the reason that he's trying to betray Pompey. Mm. This should be raising a flag for Pompey because he's too prideful. There's no way that he would be he would be saying this. Thus, and I don't doubt that Morse is still together with Lucius, so if he sees us, he's probably going to try to stop us. Yeah. Good of Caesar to actually notice. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. So, does Pompey not know about the explosion? They just he just heard that something happened, and that's why. He sent more so I actually can't come to unlock. 
and Morse is feeding him false information. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> nice try. Ah, oh, damn, I missed it. Oh, because I don't have enough energy. Okay. Oh, that was it. Killed it. There we go. And now I can go on to the next enemy with a swap. That's what I was trying to do. Near go lake toward the inferno finish line. Well, everything would have been fine if it wasn't for your little buddy over here, you know? Mm. Oh? Is that supposed to happen? Did they perhaps change the little like block thing that we're supposed to throw? And instead of actually being the thing that we need to throw, and it's something that uh that's like heavily corrupted? Ether aggregation crystal. But why? Yeah, he looks so damn cool. <laughs> Sparkstone. He's working for the city in order to push the people of the outer ring into using ether energy, but to use ether energy they need technology from the city, which means that now they're gonna need to open up their doors to the companies from the city. That's what they're trying to do. He has a weak aptitude for ether? Here it is, the drink. Hey, he he still has the strength to try and kill Lucius. Oh, got him. Not deep enough. Another scar. Can we please save him and then turn him into a playable character? Please? Please? Uh, oh. 
He's gonna give him more money, and that's what he wants. He wants money, he wants power. He doesn't care about anything else. Yaksha. <laughs> I really like that word. It sounds cool. I mean, I guess it, that cut really wasn't that deep. It was like deep enough to make him to give him another scar, but he feels like no pain. It's like not complain at all. And uh, what should we call it? Pompey was saying that he was a coward, so it's, that's kind of impressive. Either he became stronger, or that cut wasn't that big of a deal. Who do you think Caesar is? A weakling? ひとまず撤退するしかないか。この目で火の湖の消滅を拝めたら90点だったんだけど、これじゃいいとこ60点だ。すみませんね。ポンペイの親分。<笑> We saw that he's gonna be able to kill him with the last ounces of his strength. Meanwhile, are we going to be able to stop it? Or Cinder like too far gone? Kitty went back to laying on my feet. Are we? Can we do something? Hmm. <laughs> little piggies. The fisher. Uh, treasure chest, treasure chest. Treasure chest, treasure chest. Penetra Saint is shrinking. Do the enemies actually get hit by the traps? Whoa. little guy we need to go thank goodness my old body is still in good to go lucy lighter how are your rights holding up the wheels are a bit wonky but they're hanging in there mine's good too all right autobots roll out some moments later oh cutscene Pompey. Hey, 
Youch. Mm. There's barely any uh, cinder like left. But how? This is the first time that we've actually seen a transformation in a cutscene. Uh, I don't remember this happening to the first guy. I guess it's not gonna be a playable character now. But he looks cool as fuck. He looks damn. Oh, he looks really good. Sheesh. Mom, man was cool, living and dead. Whoa. Achi hit me. Ow! Got it. I can't get the hit. There's something awkward with the way that it attacks. Yeah, like I pressed it at the moment that it actually did the uh the thing, but it didn't get the parry like at all. Uh. I got this. I should use that attack more because I'm not using my assist points enough. But also miss. Oh, four. Buff. Got it. Got him. Phase two, but now without the bike? And now he's serious. Now I'm motivated. I don't think I hit it. He's attacking a lot, he's attacking a lot. Boom. I don't know what to say, but it's important. Guys, I'm here trying to survive, you know? I can't listen or read everything that you guys are saying. By the way, he's really loud. I hope everything is not like insanely loud on stream because it kind of is for me. I can barely hear myself speak. Whoa. I see. All right. Whoa, one last attack in case you manage to run away. I see what you're trying to do here, Pompey. 
The entire hour ring is very rock inspired. In terms of the music, <laughs> there we go. Got it. Nope. Ah, oh, hit me. I saw a couple of hits. I need to swap. Lucy has way too much energy, but I need to dodge at first. I screwed up, screwed up. But it's over already. Boom. Only the shield fell, only the shield fell. Ah. <laughs> but how are we gonna save the Cinder Lake? No way that she's dropping herself into the lava. No way, right? Is it over, man? Tell me, I said. When things like this happen, you know it ain't over until the cutscene is actually over. <laughs> you always gotta watch out for that one. Like, the best thing that they can do in order to bait you is actually end the cutscene there. 
do a little bit of dialogue and then pop in like another cutscene and that's when you feel like you got just got cheated or like the, the character full on cheated dead so you know how the legend was talking about uh the uh, the guy that actually dropped himself into the lava but then came out as a hero maybe this is what they meant May that he actually dropped himself into the lava but because there was a, a special fissure just like a, a static special fissure right above or somewhere on cinder lake uh he was able to get out and that's how he was able to survive but maybe it was like so long ago i mean they said that it was like 30 40 50 years maybe there's like not enough information in the outer ring about the hollows so they don't really know much about the special fluctuations or they didn't know much about it back in the time when the whole thing happened and that's why it remained a big mystery as to how he survived or it remained like just like a big legend kind of thing and that's how caesar ended up surviving also lucy is way too cute <laughs> her crying's really not <clears throat> her crying's really cute <laughs> Here's the thing that's always like worrisome, it's just like you never understand, you never know where or what the the devs are, or the writers are going to be doing to your characters or your like favorite characters and even though they're playable they might die <clears throat> Himeko <laughs> So it's always scary to just like see something happen to them but it's like mm, Something about the entire scene didn't seem like a sacrifice kind of scene like with the music and with the things that were happening like the last part where she was just like uh the, the part where it actually baits you real hard is when she's like losing looking at lucy and she goes don't look at me like that because i'll also start getting becoming like afraid of like dying so that's where the bait hits but then there's like this moment of like silence ah uh, i guess maybe there was like sad music it wouldn't hit as hard i don't know writing and having like a music composition for like a special scene is really really hard i know mihoyo does really really well or hoyoverse does really well at this like sort of like scenes from what what, like, what do i played on honkai impact because they, they hit really well with the uh with the music on cutscenes or on like scenes where something's like going on they always know which like sort of like tones to use in order to just like uh make you feel more of the emotion that they want you to feel sadness anger happiness kind of thing so i don't know maybe maybe they actually just like when they were making it maybe they thought hey let's put like some mu sad music here make them think that it's just actually dead and then it's just like hmm, maybe this doesn't feel right let's go for a silence kind of thing or maybe there wasn't silence and i was just like too focused on something else on like the cutscene, like maybe looking at lucy <laughs> i'm a big fan of lucy and piper they're both really really cute especially piper because she's like the the sleepy head and i'm very very I'm a, I'm a lover of naps, so I ha it's like she's a kindred spirit kind of thing. <laughs> but even though we reignited Tinder Lake, it doesn't seem like all the crystals were like gone. So maybe it's going to take some time on to just like cat uh for the lake to just like go back to its old self and for everything to just like be fine but one thing's for sure and she starts the new overlord because she actually ended up dropping the uh, spark stone spark stone uh onto the cinder lake <laughs> acting overlord hmm. Mm. But, but, they did it through cheating, so there's that. I mean, un unless, unless there's some like claws, or maybe there's like no claws at all, where it's just like everything's fair on the Tour of the Inferno, you know? 
Oh, it's just like it doesn't matter if you try to sabotage your po opponents or like fight your opponents or incapacitate them so that they don't make it to the lake kind of thing. Maybe it's something like that. Mm. Mm, he's gone as well. Well, we know that he, it's not up to, he's up to like no good. That he's working with corporations, so maybe now he's on the same bus as Pearlman. Before Pearlman got like betrayed by the corporations and left to die or rot in prison. The hell happened to my finger? I have like a random cut on it. What? It was like itchy. So I tried to like scratch it and then it kind of hurt. What happened to my finger? What the hell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now he's become like uh, one of the out rings most wanted. Nah, girl, you did all of that by yourself. <laughs> we didn't do crap. It was all you. そんな。全部君のおかげさ、シーさん。火の湖が消えそうになったあの時。僕はもうどうにもならないと思っていた。君がバイクで去っていくところ。ただ見ていることしかできなかったんだ。うん。おいおい、どんどん感情的になるなって
you know? <laughs> <laughs> she was crying really bad when she saw she started diving to the vent. うん。ルーシーのやつ。マジで俺様が信じまうかもって思ってたんだよな。けどもう心配ね。俺様も火の湖には。そうだ、クロキシ。待ちへ帰るんなら、俺らからの花向けを受け取ってくれよ。うん。Give me a second, give me a second. Did they need to check something? Hang on. Oops. Meh. Uh, Sunflint. Oh, it's this thing that we saw. Craft made from grass and blaze wood for the residents of the old oil filled district it's also an important decoration for the tour the inferno the center of the ring bears a unique image it likely holds some significance and we already know what this means after they told us about the uh legend uh, i stopped twitching hmm that's nice that's more than enough, Caesar. You were resting. You needed the rest. <laughs> Everyone's feeling bummed about you leaving, Proxy. Why not go and say goodbye? Big Daddy heard about what happened with the Tour de Inferno and, and over uh Tour de Inferno and over to help me hold down and over to help me hold down the fort. He's eager to meet you too. Got anything else on your mind, Proxy? About the old field's current situation. Big Daddy said we'll be in for a rough patch. Um Okay, it's nothing. Well the old oil's flowing smooth, the vanquishers might go a bit wild with the old man Pompey gone. We got to stay sharp. Plus, I know I'm not exactly cut out to be the overlord. We're all in this together or no worries. You've got what it takes. I think she has what it takes. I think her team is perfect to be like an overlord kind of team. Thanks. Old man Pompey has sealed, uh, has sealed the deal with the other districts. I won't let his efforts go to waste. Oh, Pearl Man. Well, he's been improving these days, but he's not fully conscious yet or able to chat. But don't worry, I'll give you the heads up once he's ready to talk. Thank you so much. Hey, no worries. Nope, nothing else for now. I really like the, uh, the music for this area. But stay in touch, Proxy. We'll be missing you. Oh, meet up with Bell and be ready to return. Big Daddy! Hey, this is a pretty interesting design for a fire and like a red pig oh we can see his eyes hey yo <laughs> what's up uh, hello sir oh give me a second checking something real quick hey skip the formalities kid just an old biker here i'm glad to have some young blood around i never saw this coming before the tour of the inferno I thought Caesar needed more life lessons before she'd really understand. 
Kids grow up fast, huh? What? I'd be happy if you're willing to chat with this old man, my young friend. You used to lead the Sons of Caledon? That's right. I'm retired now. Just handling some business stuff. But at the moment, those kids could use a hand. It's not because they're lacking strength or smarts, but because they've got to deal with some real dim bulbs. To make things easier, I'll step in to clear the air a bit. You don't talk like the typical typical outer ringer. <laughs> I'll go attacking stereotypes on the outer ringers, my friend. We're a mixed bag from all the walks of life. But you're right about one thing, though. I'm not a native of, of the outer ring. I'm from Eridu, the original one. I think so. However, I've accepted the outer ring as my home since the Holo, since Hollow Zero swallowed Eridu. Yes, from the old one, old Eridu. Excuse me. No worries, my young friend. I'm sure you got your own stuff to handle. Piper! We didn't get to see you much, and I really, really love your character. I'm so sad. Are you headed back to the city, Proxy? Thanks for all your work these days. Just give me a shout if you need help with anything. You youngsters are always busting with energy. Hope we will together, we'll work together again. Where have you been lately? Aw, that's sweet. You've been keeping a little old me in my- Of course. I really like her. I've been on the road, delivering messages and all. Uh, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Can I hold it in? I'll give me a second. Uh. There we go. Uh, with the incident during the Tour de Inferno and Pompeii gone, I need to clear the air before anyone starts spreading rumors. But Lucy ain't nearly as scary as you. She maybe visit all those settlements and towns within a week. I'm exhausted. You were fatigued driving anyways, but you've only been away for three days, right? Hmm. Yeah, don't worry. I've handled it already. Little old me in the same clumsy in the same clumsy girl from back in the day. I just wanted to come back in time to say goodbye in person. Thank you for traveling all the way back. We're friends, right? We bikers gotta bid a proper farewell. What are you planning on doing next? Well, I'll be tied up for a bit. Ah, uh, crap. Once again, I'm checking something. Okay. This is all about honoring Pompeii and opening new routes ASAP. Looks like little old me will be hitting the road again. Retirement will have to wait, I suppose. But hey, when the young guns need me, I'll be there. That, no, hats off to you, Senior Piper. <laughs> Stop teasing me. You'll make this little old trucker blush. It's time to get going. Yep, see ya. Bye bye, Piper. I'll miss you. Oh, Bernice. Are you back to New Eddie already, Proxy? Safe travels! Where are you headed next? Back to our camp at the freight station. You were curious about our camp, Proxy, so why not tag along? Mmm, but I've got to look after my video store. Oh, almost forgot. Stay here too long and your bank boo at home will worry. What's more, your heart's with New Eddie though, Proxy. Yes, as we're with the outer ring. Swing by our video store next time. Sure, let's hit the drink shop together. When I went with Caesar last time, they were putting food in the drinks. Oh? Oh, we'll be throwing a party to celebrate the Sons of Caledon taking the throne. Don't forget to swing by. I'll definitely be there. Really? Then I'll go tell Caesar. You gotta come, okay? Catch you later, Bernice. Catch you later, Proxy. By later, I mean uh, when I'm trying to farm some stuff because I actually managed to catch you. Lost all my polychromes, though. <sighs> Yikes. I don't want to talk to Lucy. She's probably my favorite from the Songs of Caledon. Can go in proxy? Safe journey back. Say hello to my dear predecessor and brother for me if you get the chance. Tell him I'm free for a duel anytime. What are you planning to do next, uh, Lighter? Hmm. Well... The World League may recognize the boss as the Overlord on the surface, but there's gonna be some who aren't willing to accept it. If they decide to kick up a fuss, I'll be there to teach them how to keep their traps shut. But of course, don't tell the boss about that. The responsibilities of being an overlord is already making her lose enough sleep as it is. I didn't expect you to be so thoughtful. I'm getting paid, so of course I gotta take a load off my boss's shoulders for her. Plus, recently I've been thinking, 
Wouldn't be too bad to just stay with the Sons of Caledon as a biker. Boss is truly a leader worth following. Nothing like how I, ba I was back then. Back then? <laughs> it's nothing. He's probably talking about the arena. What was it called? Cinder Arena? Can't remember. So that person you want to duel is Billy, right? Yeah, I heard you two often head into the hollows together. You probably already noticed, but his combat skills aren't something just anyone can ha I can master. You could say he's practically born for battle. Billy? Really? Heh, looks like my bro's been doing a real good job a good job of hiding his edge. Perhaps to him, he's already got the life of his dreams. Hmm. He is supposed to be a robot. Or like an android so i wouldn't be surprised if his main objective or like the reason why he was made was for battle but right now that he's with nicole and the rest he's just having too much fun like with his like guns and with monica and uh what are they called mm, silver S the knights starlight knights there we go that's their name so he's probably just like chilling you know well i'm off see you around Damn, he didn't even say anything. Lucy, 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 my favorite Sons of Caledon character. What you got to say? What are you heading back, Proxy? Ways to turn the Inferno all thanks to you. Seriously. How much do I need to pay to recruit you into the Sons of Caledon? <laughs> no more jokes. Safe travels. You aren't going to go back and take a look, Lucy? Go back to New Eridu? Or back to my home? I'll go to New Eridu when up the opportunity arises. After all, I'm the one handling businesses, business with the Sons of Caledon in the city. Plus, I need to pick up some clothes and makeup. As for my home, my dad still hasn't given up looking for me. He's reporting me missing to the public security and plaster wanted posters everywhere. I thought they had a fight. I didn't know she completely like full on left home and never told anyone or wasn't seen like at all and was even like declared missing. This is so into the whole find me game. Playing along with him could be fun, don't you think? How are you doing with Caesar? W what? Did she complain to you? Still mad about that slap? She just realized her slip up. Or you couldn't care less about what that board thinks. But for now, Sons of Caledon will be will put personal grudges aside. Caesar needs to solidify her position as the new overlord. Big Dad and I will bring her around. She'll adjust to her new role quickly. Lighter knows what to do if things get messy. We got everything covered. I'm leaving. Take care. Thanks. See ya. I can't wait to start the, uh, doing the uh, the little dates with Lucy and Piper. I've been wanting to do it since like you know release or since I got that ability. Oh, I also want to do them with Bernice. I wonder what her like uh, screen is gonna be. This screen, the waiting screen. You unlock them uh, when you get them to like max. And so far, I only have uh, Envy and Nicole. Okay, here we go. Anyone back here? Doesn't look like it. Buffy is here. But she's just an NPC. What about Caesar? Is she gonna show up? Or is it because I already talked to her that I don't get to say goodbye? I'm gonna take a look down here. Uh, maybe I can see something. I don't see any NPC. Oh, uh, who's that? That's no one important. I do not see anyone. Yeah, I think I just don't talk to Caesar because I already talked to her. Does she have a mask? I love it. I love her hair. That's sort of like a, a hair that has like highlight or color streaks. It's just something that I want for my VTuber character. VTuber character for my OC. So, you know, I really like it when I see it. All right, Belle. Let's go back. Should we head out wise? Yeah, let's head home. These are mentioned they take us near new Eddie so we just need to focus on driving. Hmm. The car window seems like an endless scroll painting, and with the car's movement and bumps, the desolation of the outer ring slowly turns into the colors of new attitude. Hmm. 
郊外の橋まで護衛してくれた上、ナビにはない近道までいろいろと案内したけどね。さすがは新しい覇者。頼もしい限りだな。This song is pretty good. This is probably the kind of song that I expect on, for, on those like. What is it? Lofi? Lofi? Lofi girl kind of videos or like streams. If I remember correctly, ZZC actually had like a ZZC Lofi stream not too long ago, as a matter of fact. They were doing some sort of like giveaway with it as well, where they were asking in chat、um, if you posted. Your favorite song, if you just told them what your favorite song was in chat,、uh, you had the chance to answer the giveaway, if I remember correctly. Uh, is he maybe still thinking about the fact that Caesar almost died if it wasn't for like that lucky fissure? Yeah. <sighs> Don't worry, Bell. Knowing Hoyoverse, we'll get used to it later <laughs> from how much it's gonna end up happening. <laughs> Old? Suddenly turning the steering wheel, the random play service vehicle turns onto a road away from the main avenue. <coughs> I'm holding. This seems like it might be something really important in terms of like the, the lore of the story. The car follows the city's edge, leading to a quieter and quieter areas. The road signs show fewer route options as they go, eventually leaving only one destination. Towards the ruins of the old capital at the edge of the chasm. Uh... It's the memorial area for the people that were lost to the. In Eridu. In Hollow Zero. It's Hollow Zero, right? This is button two. Please do not skip. <clears throat> There's this, there's this very random feeling that I have <clears throat> that this like song and this like sort of like、uh, scene sort of reminds me of, of something that might have happened when I was playing Fate Stay Night. I played the Vision Novel, by the way,、uh, and I played all the roots. It was a lot of fun, but、uh, I don't know. There's something, there's like a, a feeling. That is connecting the two things right now, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like the、uh, the emotions that I'm feeling right now. t h e sort of like like very calm feeling, and it's sort of like, a, I don't know, what could it be? It's not nostalgia, it's just like it's not a feeling of thread either. Thread, 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 I don't know.、Uh, but I don't know. I just have like this feeling inside me where it's just, it isn't happiness, it isn't anything of the sort. I don't know if it's helplessness. I don't know, I can't describe it. I don't have the vocabulary for it, but I'm feeling it right now, and it's not a positive emotion. But still, it feels oddly calm with the scene, the wind, the,、uh, the CG, and the music. Fairy, where 
知ってる検索完了ここは第一交代中部の新エリート側です The center of the chasm 第一交代とは新エリートの前身となるエリートで発生した巨大フォロー暴走災害通称キュート陥落事件の産物です Okay, so maybe it's not hole zero, but something happened. A big hollow appeared and it left this big hole. But they're saying that this is the center of it. Hole zero. Hmm. 強烈な地質活動の連鎖を引き起こし、第一交代を形成するに至りました。はあ。そう。第一交代には侵食できるものがないから、拡張に必要なエーテルエネルギーを得られなくて、ゼログフォローの放送は止まったの。I see。第一交代は、新エリートの建設を可能にしたとも言われない。本来ならこの先は、スロノスクにほど近いエリート市街地の北側に通じる道だスローンクワーター走らないところに大きな像が立っていたホワイトスター学会のねそれの手前で左に曲がると昔のミネルバ区7番通り左のミネルバクワーターホワイトスターインスティールお兄ちゃんがちっちゃい頃よく偽物を作ってくれてたっけ<笑>その向かいにはリンゴ用達のお菓子屋が軒を連ねていた。僕は偽物を捕まされる前に、おねだりに行って、食べきれないほどのお菓子を買い込むはずになった。That's really cute. I've said this before on、uh, other streams, but I really like the,、uh, the relationship that the siblings have. It's nice. It's a good、uh, sibling relationship that they have. 食べきれないなんてことなかったでしょテーブルに置いとけば。Everyone would grab them up within a minute. A big family? Or is she just talking about the family of four? ここに私たちの先生がいたいつもプレートの右側に立って、うん、イアスと一緒に私たちを待ってたシーウィッエオスユースそれはオリジンのリトルバンブーどうしてのプレイスおっ、ハンセレッジュースとビューティフルビューティフルビューティハードルエオホーム。それは今もあそこにある。第一交代を超えたゼロ号フォローの奥深く。キュートのガレキの下に。また来たよ、先生。ご無沙汰しててごめんね。いろいろあって。I'm wondering if this scarf is their t s h i r t scarf. And it's all they have left of her. The wind carries away her unfinished words. Bell, keep, Bell picks up e l s approaches the protective fence. The bamboo stretches out a small hand and ties a red scarf to the metal net. A colorful cloth dances in the wind. Hey. So, Fairy can feel empathy. Carol Arna. Carol Arna. Huh. Huh? Huh? ゼロ号フォローを暴走させ、キュート陥落を引き起こした元凶、ヘイリオス研究所
老朽研究主任カロー・レアルナおよびその他関係者は大罪人として歴史に名を残すだろう The main culprit, Senior Research Director Carol Arna of the Helios Academy, will be forever etched on the pillar of shame. Did they place all the blame on her? Did she actually do it? If she did it, did she have a big reason as to why she needed to do that? They still see her as an important person. They don't see her as an enemy, as somebody that took away their home. So, can only make you guesses that she's not actually the culprit. Or if she is the culprit, then there might be an underlying reason to it. Hold. Hold. Maybe. There are movies, series, books, and stuff like that where there are researchers, scientists that kind of go a little bit. Too far on their research and end up unleashing something really, really bad. That could also be it. Maybe she did create, or maybe she was the main culprit for Hollow Zero and the destruction of the old capital. And maybe it was because she reached a little bit too far with her research and then are proccing this like massive destruction. So at the very least, she saved Wise and Belle, and I'm guessing she was only able to save them both. And maybe that's when she ended up running back, trying to stop whatever was going on with Hollow Zero, trying to stop the mistake that she made. And that's when she died, when she disappeared. Oops. いつの日かゼロ号フォローの深部まで入ってヘイリオス研究所の廃墟を調査できる僕とリオが黒騎士になったのはそのためだ I can't tell if they're actually like possible if there's like extra dialogue on English that's not on like the Japanese version or if they're like doing a big pause it's really hard to tell テアリー前に聞いてきたでしょ私たちがゼロ号フォローの調査に参加したいわけ。今ならわかるよね。先生の手がかりがあの場所にあるって信じてるから。うん。僕たち兄弟の命にかけて、先生は決して滞在人なんかじゃない。必ずキュート陥落の真相を暴き、彼女の汚名を晴らしてみせる。ほうだ。なぜなら。Whoa. Okay, this is really unexpected, but it can also explain as to why. A member of her team is going to be on the next patch as a gacha character. <laughs> We visited her? Okay, 
First, reach the chasm memorial. Her. Miyavi goes straight to the monument by the protective fence and softly touches one of the names inscribed on its surface. <笑>うん。すまん。奥闇を言わせてください。一日でも早く心安らげる日が来ることを願います。礼を言う。私はまだ安らぎを得るつもりはない。というと。<笑> Uh, that's not good. Because technically, ah, uh, that's not good. That this is not good because then she might become one of our enemies. She looks over with a piercing gaze. As if something, something quietly burns within the depths of her crimson pupils. That night. With the dust settled, all we gotta do is wait for Pearlman to wake up. If our suspicions are correct, the master mind behind Pearlman wants the sacrifice hidden in the monument. The activity from the sacrifice can cause disruptions to the smart crystalline lens. Could the sacrifice have something to do with Helios Academy? Not to the mastermind, the monster, and the fall of the old capital tied together. We're inching closer to the truth, but we've got to stay cautious. Yeah, our enemy went after public security officers and even hijacked the qu court airship. They're not foes we can handle alone. Luckily, we've got some solid allies. Absolutely, the cunning hairs, Billabog Heavy Industries, Victoria House Speaking Co, the Sons of Caledon, and maybe even Su Yuan and Ching Yi. With them on our side, we're not doing this solo anymore. Second Assistant, you forgot to mention the most reliable and powerful AI companion in all of New Edit. How could I forget about you, Fairy? Thanks for your trust, Master. I'm here to help, as always. Oh man, that was a bit cheesy, you two. It's late now. And I've got the store to run tomorrow. Let's head to bed. Good night, Belle. Night, night, Rin. Chapter 4, Toward the Inferno, complete. Go back to the uh, the bedroom and get some rest. Oh, I don't know what the fairy said. Damn. I wonder if when I'm going to be gaining a new picture. I don't think I have gained a single new picture. As soon as you see the bed, all the exhaustion from the past days hit you like a truck. Time to get some sleep. You settle in and close your eyes. Before today, you hardly ever talked about what happened back then, not even between you and your sibling. The memories are fresh, like, like, Tisha. We have already. It's morning already. You might have dreamed, but it's all a blur now. A new day ahead after a good rest. Talk to Bell. There's more. It ain't over. 18 and 1, Eos. Oh, Eos is 1. Aww, I never noticed. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Why is everyone standing by the door? Oh, hey, Wise, you're awake. When 18 uh, opened the store earlier, there was a bunch of hand people outside. Almost made me jump. Hand people? It looks chill like they just finished the mission. I'm really curious about the details of their operations. If you want me to check it out, just say so. Alright, alright. Please go check it out for me, Wise. Okay. What's going on? Ah, it's her! What's your name? Yanagi? Sugishiro? I don't know what her first name is. But anyway, she is the next gacha character. And... The link that we might be getting on the next patch might be uh, from like seeing Miyabi over at the memorial and her saying those things. And now, finding her outside the store, probably coming here to eat some noodles uh, with other HSO members. 
Oh my, as expected of Section 6 elites, you really took down no face in one fell sweep. Go in and have some noodles, 20% off for all of you. The media tends to exaggerate things, but thank you for the generous offer. We'll, we'll gladly accept it. Alright, everyone, once you're done eating, let's wrap things up here. Oh, sorry. It was a sudden situation, and it's been a long day. My apologies. Please head home and get some good rest. Section 6 will handle the reports. Just drop off a leave request and your operation received in the office tomorrow. Whoa, coin animation with Nagi is awesome! Free dinner with n and no paperwork. You're too kind, Deputy Chief. I heard Section 5 is still out there chasing leads, but we're clocking out already. All thanks to you, Nagi. Soon the NSO, uh, HSO support crew disperses. Hmm? You are? Oh, Nagi. I see. It's been a while, Deputy Chief. Oh, it's you. Sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I remember you. You're the captain of the independent investigation team during the Hollow Zero mission. Your bank boo helped us a lot. Pleasure was all mine working with Section 6. <laughs> no need to be so modest. I've heard that your team has been pretty active in Hollow Zero lately. The Outpost administration have nothing but praise for you. Small world running into you here. You and your sibling run the video store down the street, right? What do you know? Hmm. Oh, that wasn't too forward. I gathered intel for Section 6, so it's my job to know my partner as well. I apologize if that made you uncomfortable. So can I have a little compensation? Nah, I'm not gonna say that. It's okay. It's all part of working on important operations. Appreciate your understanding. By the way, mind if I swing by your store? I have some time off today. Maybe I should rent the videotape. Of course, even better if you get a membership. I'm definitely saying that, though. <laughs> God drop on uh, drop the hashtag ad for the uh for the membership. What a nice little store. You got a great collection. Is there anything you like to watch? I pulled on all night or working last night, and I'm still feeling the grind. Movie to one one my brain would be perfect. Hmm. Do you want to watch a comedy like Small Body Big Crisis? Bob woke up as an old bank in a scrapyard. In order to return to his own body, he embarked on a tumultuous journey. Tumultuous journey. Ah. You don't like it? Oh, I just remembered. After I borrowed your bank pool last time, our department upgraded the system for the standard models. We're going to fill out the evaluation forms by tomorrow. I need to remind Haramusa that the form is in multiple choices this time. We'll get busted if he lets a bank boo fill it out again. Oops. Got distracted by work again. Too many bank boo in this movie. It's triggered my work workaholism. I better look for something different. How about her restaurant tour shorts, like the Rito tour? Sounds good. Watching people eat triggers a dopamine release in, my, in the brain. And Chief will be taking care of the girl I'm living with. The girl I'm living with? So I don't have to worry about getting her hungry after watching the show. Oh, maybe I'll even find a perfect spot for the get together for, with Section 5 next month. Wait, you're talking about work again? Oops, sorry. At the last gathering, I had to keep the conversation going with a hundred lines an hour to avoid awkward silences. Already tired of this just thinking about it. Uh, forget about the gathering now. Maybe read the, the reader tour is not for you. Oh, what's this? We need you, videotape manager. You got a lot of these tapes in your store. Is it popular? Just a collection of job ads. Just some offbeat stuff from the supplier for free. Just for all sorts of in new editu. Every gig under the sun. Hmm, this might be useful for Section 6. What would you need this for? We've been getting a lot of attention lately. The Chief and the others have quite the fine base. Resumes are flying in from people trying to get closer to them. And it's even clogged up the shredder in our office. Ugh. Poor guys. Wait, I'll rent this one. If it's good, we'll plan on repeat in the interview waiting room. <laughs> eh? Eh? For work? Again? Well, not entirely. It could be fun to imagine a fresh start while watching job ads. Even a leader in Section 6 like you has other career dreams? Running a gooseberry farm with a thyron maid or something like that. Hmm. Let's go for that one. That's an oddly specific dream. Is it from the videotape too? Well, it's hard to say no to the retirement benefits of Section 6. But joining hand wasn't my first choice. Oops, time flies when we talk. The metro's going to be packed soon. Can you check me out, please? After you're registering a membership for Janagi and sending her off, Huh? Was there a customer wise? Why is we need you sitting on the counter? Oh no, she forgot the videotape. What are you talking about? 
tell Bell what happened. Can't believe Deputy, Deputy Shifutsuki Shiro forgets things too. You off to the Metro Wise. Maybe you can still catch up to her. This sounds like I might find out something that I don't want to find out about. Off to the Metro. Like, I don't know, it was, it's kind of suspicious that she suddenly wants to go over to the, uh, to the store. Maybe they're suspicious of us. Or maybe something's going on. I don't know. Hmm. There she is. Nagi! Huh, manager, what are you doing here? Forgot your videotape. The videotape? Oh, completely forgot about it after getting the membership card. Thank you for bringing it to me. Just a chat with you may feel totally relaxed. Chat, is that risk? Well, being part of Section 6, I can't afford to let my guard down, even off-duty. Who knows? You might actually be a dangerous person. <coughs> mm -mm. Uh, yeah. Mm. Totally not a proxy or anything of the sort. Mm -mm. At the very least, just not in danger from, like, I don't know, any physical altercations. Because I'm not strong. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, I'm glad I visited your store today. Bye, manager. I'll be stopping by more often. And if we meet in Hollow Zero, I'll be happy to work with you. anything else to say she head home stop by more often yeah there's nothing else well good to know that i didn't pick up destination uh and go back to the video store i'm glad that i didn't find out that she's actually wait what that's the end things are quiet again i should keep raising our internal level and that's a very 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 weird ending I'm mm. Yeah. I'm not sure what to think about that ending. I I think mm, I think it would have been much much better if they decided to end it after we returned back home and we went to sleep from like the uh, the memorial place because the memorial place uh, like that whole scene was pretty good. I really liked that the music the CG and everything else about it, it was pretty damn good. And it was like the perfect ending for me. But for the ending to be actually just like talking to uh Yukishiro Janagi. Yukishiro Janagi. Um I don't know, it just like feels kinda weird, you know? Well now I can do this. She's a Palooza. Current phase. Well, what is all this? Time for the feast. Holy jeez! In the stove's on fire. Huh. Stroke of luck. There's this, like, there's, like, this agent story, but I still haven't done, like, any agent stories other than Soldier 11's. Is it Soldier 11 or Soldier 6? Soldier 11. Okay. That's the only one that I've done. I haven't done anything else. Bernie's. Shinji Indian story has been recorded and can be viewed. Uh, where is it? New tape. New tape, new tape. What is this about? Not available yet, I see. This is the only one that I have done. Yeah, finished all of it. It was fun. It was nice. Oh, I didn't notice that they were here. Uh, but I still gotta deal with it, like, do, like, more of them. I think this is Nekomiya. The Iron Witch. I think this is Rina. Uh, school, schoolyard, tower house. Who's is this? Coletta. Behind the scenes. This is... Icon? Oh, no, this is Rina. What is this? Who's is this, then? Ah. Uh, I forgot her name. Grace! Grace, like how on this is Rina, this is Shingi, and this is Bernice. Piper, tell me a joke! <laughs> it's kind of cute. Let's wait with this new thing showing off to the right. It's kind of weird. Oh. The Zero Zone. Midnight Pursuit, Tour the Inferno B. This is the first one. It is. 
Oh wait, I forgot to check the other one. Under complete an agent story, you can still play the completed commissions again. If necessary, you can enter the uh, story commissions through the HD again at any time to obtain any uncollected rewards. Okay. What is this? Special episode. Isn't this Jane's? Oh no, this isn't exactly empty. Two face agree a mouse is home. Yeah, this is just like the uh, the special episode of Jane's. I thought she was was gonna have like her own sort of like what you call it agent story, but apparently she doesn't. And that like chapter is not included here. And I mean it's fair because it has like nothing to do with the main story. So it's nice to just have them have it like, you know, on another spot. Who knows what this is though? It's a locked one. But yeah, I still gotta do all of the agent stories. Uh apparently they're as long as like normal stories, so it's gonna take like one or two strings for me to fit Ugh, another hiccup. It's gonna take like one or two strings to actually finish them. And I'm actually surprised that uh what is this? Two hours. I thought I was gonna be done with this in like an hour. It was a pretty good story though. Uh, we got to meet and to learn more about the Sons of Caledon. And after that, we got a little bit of lore. And I think so far, that's what this game is sort of like missing. Maybe to keep like more players interested uh, in the game. It's just like giving us a more, give us more, there was more bones about the main story, about the things that are happening with the siblings. Because so far, we know so little. And it's supposed to be like the main part of the story. That bone that they threw us at the end of this was pretty good. It was pretty damn juicy, but it's still sort of like lacking a couple of things in order to just like be like, whoa, to just like make you think like, God damn, this is big. It's good, but it's not big kind of good. Okay. Still, I'm not going to complain. Because getting something... And of that size, of like a medium-sized bone with medium meat, is better than getting nothing at all. And I think for the uh, for the 1.0 kind of like stories, as well as the 1.1, which was uh, was Jane Doe's, we got like very very little about it. Like if anything, I am very very curious. Is it nighttime? Can I see it? I can't. If anything, I am very 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 curious about the moon and why the hell is there a hollow on the moon covering like half of it i don't understand it has to be something big you know like lore kind of big like deep lore like i don't know maybe 2.0 3.0 kind of like lore big you know it's like insane or maybe it's just going to be something really dumb and small and I'm just going to be feel very disappointed. But anyways, I think the story was really good. I like the Sons of Caledon. They have like, uh, they got some charisma. And before I even got to play them, I already really like Piper and Lucy. They are still one of my favorites from uh, the Sons of Caledon. Her... Since the start, I really like her because of her little like Desuwa kind of character, her like Ojo Sama kind of character. She seemed fun because it's like she's like an Ojo Sama, but she's still d being like a, a biker. So it's kind of like two things that sort of like clash in terms of like character. Uh, so I was very very curious about her and learning about her and her just like being a big 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 sundere was kind of nice. And of course Piper. Being someone that loves snaps, I really like her whole like sleepy kind of character. So I was very curious to see what was her whole, whole like deal. Um, sadly, we didn't get to see her much on the story. We got a bit of her. We just found out that she's like very, she's very reliable. She's like smart and she can get work done really fast, which is probably why they oftentimes when they showed her on like the trailers, doing like the driving like the truck, she was always just like being like. I don't know, she, she always looked kind of confident and sleepy, but mostly confident. Uh, so yeah, at the very least, we got to see her and know a little bit extra about her, just to like, sort of like talk. Uh, now, can I actually talk with them? I can! 
Here it is. Luciana de Montefio, Piper, and Bernice White. I didn't know she had a second name. Those are the only ones that I have. I gotta continue with Ben's story and taunts. Sort of the Levens, because I think after this one, it's uh, I'll be able to finish. I'll get to like this level. Probably. Can't remember. Uh, yeah. I'm also done with Ellen's. I'm getting close to being done with Jane's. Should be pretty fast. And then I gotta start working on... What is this like dot dot dot? It's like the only one that... Oh, because her name. Her main name is too long. Uh, I need to start working on them. I really like all of them. So, yeah. Bernice enthusiastically takes care of her companions. Maybe a little too enthusiastically. Never underestimate Lucy's competitiveness. Is her personality like a middle-aged man because she drives a truck? Or does she drive a truck because her personality is like a middle-aged man? Mm, Schrodinger's middle-aged man will never know. But anyways, I was expecting to do a little bit more. And uh, like I said, I really wanted to uh, start playing a little bit of Bua if I had some free time. But I actually stream a little bit more than I was uh, supposed to. Uh... I was thinking of being done like about 44 minutes ago, but uh, I didn't. So I will manage to actually finish the story. And uh, yeah, I think I'll just be waiting for next week's uh, update for the game. I'll be doing all the events of stream so that whenever I start like stream, I can start focusing on other games. Uh, as for next stream, should be probably on Saturday. If there's no one home early. And if it's on Saturday. Now the question is. Black Myth Wukong. Or Wuwa. That's the big question. I'm not sure which one I'm going to end up playing. Uh, because I've got to. I got to catch up with Wuwa. Or at the very least get the dailies unlocked. So I can start doing more stuff in the game. Uh, and start doing more exploration. And I don't know how long story. The 1.0 story for Wuwa is, and the 1.1 story, and then the 1.2, and now 1.3. I actually don't even know what 1.2 has in the game. I think 1.2 was Shang Li. I think her name is Shang Li. But uh, I think that was just like an event patch. I don't remember seeing anyone talk about the story for 1.2, so it was probably just an event patch. And since I'm not like uh, up to date with things that are happening on Wuwa, I still don't know how they're doing updates. At the very least, I hope that they're way more meaningful than PGR updates because PGR updates sucked really bad. They were like so empty, they were so dry. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned before, it seemed that, uh, I don't know, maybe it's like <laughs> half a year or a year after I stopped playing PGR, they caught up to the point of the story uh, or the point of like the development where they actually started putting more into the patches uh, so that it wasn't as dry as it was like very early in the game. So yeah, um, maybe PGR now is like in a good spot. It's still a very niche kind of like gotcha that not many people are playing. Uh, if you like like action games and you have like a controller or you have like a proper phone to uh, where you can play video games, I think I'd still recommend PGR to play uh, to play PGR, especially currently that uh, if you're interested in the story of like in the action games because games is still fun um uh, but i don't think i'm going back to it i think um i think i burned myself out trying to just like actually wait for more content to come or for for more meaningful content to come and it never came so i'm just like probably done with it sadly um but just because I'm not going to play it doesn't mean that nobody else uh, can't play it. I actually encourage people to try out the game. Um, you know, I've heard good things about it, so why not? Who knows? Maybe when I'm done clearing, like, everything and I have, like, a lot of, like, free time, maybe there could be a chance, a very, very low chance, like, maybe 10% or lower chance that I could play PGR. Uh, especially because it has a PC client now. Because before you could only play it on uh, phone or using an emulator like BlueStacks. But now you can actually download a client and play it on your PC and it having like its own application. Uh, still, I think they men somebody mentioned that uh, 
it still has like that mechanic where you need to just like get the uh the colors together uh to get like strong attacks so i'm not sure how that works on pc uh because that's like a full that's like a touch mechanic kind of thing that like they made it specifically so that you'd be able to play it on your phone and using like your fingers so i wonder how that's going to work for pc and i wonder if the uh, the port was actually good or if it was garbage i hope it was good because uh release war was not very was not performing performing very well if you know what i'm saying in terms of like you know pc performance not as in performance of like popularity or stuff like that before somebody just puts words in my mouth i'm stopping you right now you ain't saying that about the game using my words uh, uh, uh. but yeah got things to do i gotta get uh, more tea to drink my mouth is really dry from talking uh for anybody that came by for anybody that checks the bot also because now i'm gonna i'm probably gonna try it for like maybe a week uh i noticed that when i was up uploading the bots for zzz over from twitch over to youtube that they seem to have more traction than when i did some uh multi-streaming on youtube so i want to see if it keeps getting more traction uh getting watched as lone videos or lone re-uploads from like twitch onto youtube then i might stick with that instead of doing some uh multi-streaming because i know there are people that have started doing like multi-streaming and stuff like that uh i'm not entirely sure as to why maybe it's just to up the, their like reach uh but i'm not popular enough to actually try to do something of, uh, like that so it's like i get one two viewers and on bots, on the bots, my old bots were like ZZZ, the ones that I uploaded uh, where I w when I was fl finishing like chapter three of the story. They actually got like eight to like 15 views, which is like much higher um, than my live streams on YouTube. So that's the reason that I'm thinking maybe if I do it as like lone videos, like my reach will be higher or like wider and it'll be better for like the channel kind of thing but yeah anyways i'm gonna head out um gotta drink some water gotta go to the toilet uh and so thank you everybody who came by who watched the bot who watched the stream who lurked etc etc ariel who also like lurked um uh, yeah thanks for everything and i'll see you guys next time when i play a game don't know which game but yeah bye bye